Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing a living room refresh today. I'm painting, moving furniture. I want to make this space work a lot better for us. We're a family of four, two adults, one teenager and a toddler living in a two bedroom flat, which I've made into a three bedroom flat. So I started by, I wanted to get rid of this cube unit with all the toys on. So I pulled everything off of there, I just pulled it out. We got rid of that yesterday. And I do speed it up, you don't want to see me take every toy box out, every toy out of that space. So them baskets on top of the cube unit, they've got all her teddies in and some of her um, dolls. That's now going to live in her bedroom. And I went through her toys very quickly, got rid of some of those. And then her toys will eventually go on that cube unit there where the telly is. And I moved that. I've really wanted for a long time just the table, our dining room table to go back in this corner. It was originally in this corner. Then my son wanted the telly in that corner. So we moved it round. But I just don't feel like it, the space works with a table. It feels like in the middle of the room. And we need to make as much space as possible. So I want to put the table back in that corner. With nothing else there. I tried moving the table there and leaving a bit of space and leaving the telly there but it just didn't work, it just looked cluttered and there wasn't a lot of space so this was a pain to get through the space just because that chair was there that chair is still in the living room, it doesn't quite fit in my son's room it sort of does but because he's got such a small space so it might go in there or it might stay in here, I'm not sure, I don't really want to get rid of it he does like that chair so I'll well, just have to see what we do with that so I did wipe down that corner that wall was really mucky that corner so I cleaned that down before I painted it and there's all the toys all sorted through so they've been sorted through them toys and in that Primark bag it's all like art and craft stuff so here's all the toys and that cube unit moved to that, that side there and this space works so much better. So I had to have that cube unit there for, um, I don't know, a few days, but it's gone now. But the cat really enjoyed sitting on there for some reason. But like I said before, anything new coming in or different, he, he will sleep there and sit there for a while. And I just love it, there's so much extra floor space without that table being there. Nice clear space and not loads of rubbish in that corner where the table is now. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. And then when we went to the range, I didn't show this because I wanted it to be a bit of a surprise. I picked up this paint, Natural Sage, in matte, and it's Johnson's. And it was so great, the coverage was great. I only managed to get about 85% of the painting done because we ran out of paint. But it's mostly done, so hopefully I want to go back to the range or be in queue in the next few days so I can finish off the painting. I'll have to see if I can get up there first. So here I've done all the cutting in, well apart from that corner, I need to pull that telly out. And I started painting. I wanted to do the two walls first where the window and the doors are because all I had to do was take some pictures off the wall and I waited till last to do this wall here because I had to unscrew the shelves, take everything down. But that is the wall with one coat on and I think this wall has either one or two coats. But the paint is still wet on them walls. But already I can see a massive difference. It looks cleaner and lighter with that paint. And then here's the end result. Well, nearly the end result. I've still got a little bit more to do, but I have to wait until I can get hold of some more paint. I'm just loving how the living room turned out. It's so light, bright, clean. I don't know why at the minute I'm loving whites and greens together. I think it just feels fresh and lovely. I want to get a feel of a bit outsidey inside, if that makes sense. So I want to get some fake plants. 
As I said before, I can't keep real plants alive, so there's no point doing that. And I, I wasn't sure at first, but I'm loving like my pink decor bits in there as well. I think it goes with the green a little. So I, I didn't want to get rid of my clock, and I do like that picture that's hung up. So I am going to keep the few pink bits I've got and my little flamingo bits as well. I think it goes well with it. But let me know what you think. I think it turned out great. I am getting rid of the blue curtains, but that is going to have to wait. It's not a top priority. And that blue wall is going to go. But that again, that's not a priority. I haven't even picked out a colour yet. And I'll have to wait to get that. But the main bulk of the room is done. I've just got to paint behind the telly, behind the sofa and above that curtain. And then it's complete. It's just a shame I just had not enough paint. Let me know what you think. Let me know what colour you would do that back wall to go with the green. The blue has to go because it does need painting because the paint's been coming off the wall. I'm thinking something a little lighter, but maybe a dark green, like the blue, but the dark green or a light green or pink even, just to go with the other pink bits. Let me know what colour you'd put there, but here's the paint I used again. It was great coverage and I love this. I think I'd use that brand again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 